What's happening guys? So unfortunately this title is not clickbait. I wish it was, but there is legitimately a real chance that my powerlifting career could be coming to an end because of my eyes of all things. Um, I, don't, I don't know yet. I saw my eye doctor on Monday and you know, he just basically said like I'm just kind of risking things by doing what I'm doing and I need to kind of put in priorities, you know, what's more important and it's kind of a really long story that I want to kind of save you some of the details but I'll, I'll kind of explain briefly what I do know and it's basically I have these conditions with my eyes and it's it's very rare so this is probably not something you need to worry about but um, I had what was called a pterygium in both eyes I had one removed in 2011 and the other eye removed in 2014 I believe and the one that was in my left eye, which was the original one that was removed, there was another growth happening on that eye. And that's what they did another surgery on this year to take that out. And now, the good news was, he said that that eye looks great. Like, he was absolutely thrilled with how it looks, considering doing a second surgery on it, which talked about, you know, the more surgeries we do, the more you're jeopardizing the eye, and it's just not... It's just not a good thing, and it weakens it every time, and then it's just something you want to avoid. And then on top of that, what normally they do to heal these things and do to alleviate the problems is they give you these steroid drops or even do an injection of steroids into your eye, and that brings down the swelling, brings down the inflammation, and, and allows things to heal very nicely. Unfortunately, I am one, I'm like 10, 15% of the people who respond negatively to these steroids and my eye pressure goes through the app goes through the absolute roof like they just take off which that causes other problems that also you know weakens the eye it brings up the eye pressure severely which puts you at risk for things like glaucoma and things like that so they can't really do that so they have to be very cautious with my eyes and in doing so, it's just made things a lot more difficult. So now, since this last surgery, I noticed in the eye that I just had the second surgery on that when I was lifting hard and heavy, I was getting like up towards the top here, like a little, like, I don't even know how to describe it, like a little tiny little sack of like blood. And it was like a blood vessel or something. And um, when I did the Valsalva, when I braced hard, it would be worse. And then if I stopped doing that and I stopped doing the Valsalva, it would slowly get better. If I did it again, it would come back. And he basically talked about how doing the Valsalva puts a lot of pressure on the eye. And when it's in a weakened state like it is, it just, it's one of these things where it just like leaks inflammation and it, and it just makes it, so it's just not very healthy. I'm sorry, I'm kind of stumbling over myself and I don't quite understand everything he was saying. And I'm trying to explain it the best I can, so bear with me here. Um, anyway, his analogy was like, imagine if you took like a garden hose and then hooked it up to like a fire hydrant, right? Like it would just like, it wouldn't be able to hold and support it. So when I do the Valsalva and brace super hard and, and raise my eye pressure really hard, the eye that's in a weakened state through the, through the multiple surgeries and all the things that I've done with that eye, it has a tendency to leak some of this inflammation. And if this continues to happen over time, it's gonna cause more problems for my eye. He talks about how most people, you know, they have cataracts once they're in like their 60s, but if this keeps happening for me, it would be like probably in my 40s or whatever. So it's jeopardizing me in that point. And then I have to worry about glaucoma and, and all these other things. So basically where he went with it was, you know, I can't tell you what to do but it, you might want to start thinking about what you want out of your life and, and what's what's more important. And um, we're not giving it up yet. I have I, I have decided to do a meet in December, and that's uh, December 10th, I believe, in Orlando. And what we're going to do is we're going to monitor things. I'm, he told me to stop the Velselva immediately, so I can no longer do the Velselva. So that should help and hopefully by not doing that i'll be able to continue doing what i love aka powerlifting and i can get through it but we're going to find that out so he has scheduled an appointment to see me a week prior to my meet to see how this more intense training and taking away the Velselva does and how my eye holds up and if it holds up pretty well 
then perhaps I can continue to do this more long term. If things don't go so well, then I'll have a difficult decision to make. Probably no longer do powerlifting, and I don't even know what that means for my weightlifting. I mean, he talked about maybe weightlifting isn't such a good thing for me, and I can't even like imagine life without weightlifting. I mean, I love powerlifting and it's my passion, but I could live without it. I don't know that I could live without a weightlifting. Like, I feel like I would have no purpose. Like, I don't know what I would do with myself if I couldn't lift at all. So, I think I was in too much shock to even ask him what he meant by that and if, like, it meant no weightlifting at all. I sure hope not. But I'll talk to him about that when I see him December 5th, I believe it is. So, in the meantime, Noel Selva, which, I mean, that's concerning to me because not only can I not lift as much weight without the Vail Selva, but without a really good brace like that, you know, I'm putting my spine and my back in jeopardy and I'm, I'm, my core isn't going to be as tight. So it's a little, it's kind of a scary thought to be not properly braced. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'll still probably get my good brace, take, take a big breath of air, brace hard, but then I got to let the air go as I lift to make sure that I'm not raising my eye pressure too hard and and causing these problems so it's actually going to take a lot of effort to make sure that I'm doing that because I don't I'm, I'm so ingrained to always bracing hard and keeping my breath so it's going to take away from some of the things that I normally think about some of my cues to be able to do that but it's what I've got to do I've got to work with it I would rather not Velselva and not brace hard and still be able to power lift so let's hope that that works we'll find out uh, I also want to say that just because this is happening for me don't think that you should stop bracing and stop doing the Vail Selva. This is very, very unique. This is unique to me and my conditions, and unless you have these exact conditions that I have and your doctor tells you, you shouldn't have to worry about it. But for me, it's just, it's a problem. I've had two surgeries on one eye, I've had one surgery on the other eye, and that other eye is going to need more surgery at some point, almost for sure, because that pterygium is coming back. And um, I had talked to him about maybe doing it this year because I've already reached, rep, uh, excuse me, I've already met my deductible for the year, but he said no, we, we don't want to do surgery until we absolutely have to. So that's where I'm at. It's tough. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to process right now, you know? Like, obviously there could be worse news, but this is pretty, pretty big news to me. And uh, I just don't know what it means for my future, and I hate not knowing. And I, I just keep thinking about, you know, what am I going to do with my life if if I can't keep doing this? So I don't know. Like, who has to stop powerlifting and weightlifting because of eyes? Like, what is that? How is that a thing? Like, really? Is this really happening? Is this real life right now? But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, wish me luck and. Uh, you know, I'll document everything through this meet. I'm excited. I, I, I pretty much feel like I have to approach this meet like it's going to be my last meet ever because, quite frankly, it could be. So we'll just have to see how it goes, and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So anyway, thanks for watching, as always, guys, and I'll talk to you later.